So if the airplane's cruising at 37,000 feet and the oxygen outside the airplane is not breathable, how is the air on the inside of the airplane breathable? That's kind of interesting because there's not big oxygen generators on the inside of the airplane producing oxygen all the time. In fact, we do have those, but they're only for emergencies. In other words, if we have a depressurization in the airplane and the masks drop down, that's when those big oxygen generators come into service and they begin to provide oxygen while I start a descent down to a lower altitude. But in normal flight, it's actually the big jet engines out on the wings that produce the oxygen for you. Now, how is that? Well, at altitude, there's plenty of oxygen. The problem is the partial pressure of the air at that altitude won't allow you to get enough oxygen to, to stay awake or to sustain life. And it's like being at the top of the Himalayas, right? You have to take your own oxygen with you. So that jet engine has different stages and that big fan that you see at the beginning of it is the biggest of the stages. And then each succession of stages of fan or those stator blades that spin at high speed, they get smaller and smaller and smaller. What are they doing? They're compressing the air that comes into the engine. So we can take the oxygen that's actually out there and compress it all the way down to a state that is breathable. In other words, down to sea level, if you will, for us inside the airplane. And so some of that air before it gets in, the fuel gets injected and it gets burned out the back of the engine to produce thrust, some of that low pressure air gets bled off the engine, gets sent to the pack units on the airplane. And uh, those units are the air conditioning units on the airplane because that air, now that once it gets compressed, it's really hot. So it's gotta get cooled down gets circulated throughout the airplane. About 60% of your breathable oxygen on the airplane comes in through that system. The other 40% goes through the HEPA filters. All, all of it goes through the HEPA filters, but the other 40% is recirculated air inside the airplane. Now you know, I'm Captain Steve. Fly safe. Wait, don't go yet. Do me a favor, become Captain Steve's new best friend. Hit the like button, uh, share, and subscribe.